This is the general and welcome to a little vlog, a little update on my life. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd of July. That, now that is established, it's 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, still haven't showered or anything, which I should do in the next 30 minutes because in 30 minutes my dad is coming to pick me up, he's going to drive me an hour plus away to the hospital where I will be getting my gallbladder surgery tomorrow. I'm gonna meet up at 7 a.m. I'm pretty nervous. You know, I don't like not being in control of things. And uh, I just wanna wake up. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be full narcosis, laparoscopic. I don't even know how they're gonna get it out if they're just making little holes. You know, it's got a stones in it. It's, it's a big ball of lumpy stones. Well, the biggest stone is a centimeter and a half, probably bigger now. When we got it checked out, so that was that's gonna be interesting. Hope I get to keep it as a souvenir. Maybe I'll make uh, some sort of diamond studded necklace out of it <laughs> uh, yeah it's getting real I'm just sick and tired of of this thing giving me troubles I've lost right around 50 pounds in weight since I stopped eating fat because I can't eat fat because then I get sick and I have excruciating pain so most of my meals consist of chicken breast and rice and, you know, whatever I can do with that. Onions and... I haven't had butter on my bread for ages. White, white mini baguette bread is what I eat with either a cold cut chicken or jam. You know, it's very boring. It's getting really frickin' tiring. It's the 23rd. Ooh, look at my muscles. I'm so strong. <laughs> it's the 23rd, Thursday. I was gonna have my surgery today. I got up at 6.15. Got to the hospital before 7.15. As you can tell, I've had my IV in. Long story short, my uh, you want to see blood? Want to see, see some blood? Mm -hmm. Gross. Here's my thing. Don't read it. It's got all my sensitive information. <laughs> um, yeah. Long story short, uh, my surgery has been postponed for tomorrow. Too many stupid farmers getting hurt, too many people falling off buildings and whatnot, and, you know, acute take is, cases take uh, precedence over scheduled ones, which can wait. Not that I really can wait, but um, it's going to be tomorrow, hopefully, <laughs> pretty sure. Um, number two in line get up at 6 in the morning, meet up at 7. Uh, and there's only one guy ahead of me in line, and unless something extraordinary happens, I will have my surgery tomorrow, and they'll poke new holes in me and hopefully do a better job than this, because that was painful, and I almost passed out. <laughs> and not from that, but just dehydration and this and, and combination of things. It just got all lightheaded, and my 
blood pressure dropped and it was scary. <laughs> Started sweating like mad, just uncontrollable sweating. Luckily it didn't last too long, but scary. Scary experience. So yeah, took a blood test again. It's like every time I go, they like, oh, we need a blood test. We need to know your blood type. And I'm like, you took blood test two times before. Don't you remember what kind of blood I got? I can tell you it's O negative. I got universal blood. Which is bad for me, but good for everyone else. Yeah, my hair's all dry. I was all ready to surgery up. I shaved my stomach. I don't want to show you. It's not pretty. It looks like a child's buttocks. I'm a hairy guy, you know, not just here, but here. I can show you, I guess, that's where it stops. So, everything there and down is shaved now. I'm all prepped, I'm all ready to get poked in, to get blown open and have a, a organ removed. It's been a long, long, long day though. It's now, what is it, 7, 7 p.m. I was up 6 a.m. this morning, got to the hospital at 7, waited for an hour, came and took a blood test, and then I waited for three more hours until I was moved to a room where this cute nurse uh, got me changed and, <laughs> well, I changed myself. Thank you very much. Into these see-through tidy vities and, and some sort of overly large, you know, hospital gown thing. And, uh, shaved my chest. Horribly tried to put the IV in a dehydrated body. Because I've been fasting since midnight, right? Uh, you gotta fast before a surgery and you... You're only allowed to drink water up until two hours before the surgery, and since it kept being pushed back, I couldn't really drink water until they finally said that, you know, it might be away a while. And that was after, after one, I think. So, yeah, my voice is <clears throat> going as well. I haven't really used my voice for anything. It's just, you know, the, the toll it's taken on my body. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm okay now. <laughs>so after the surgery, I have not yet recorded another vlog or video until today. <laughs> today is August 13th. So it's been a while. Uh, I did take some pictures and some video. Uh, the day of the surgery, like after the surgery, and I'll show them right now. Um, a bit of warning though, if you're squeamish, uh, you might want to look away. <laughs> the pictures are graphic, very graphic, of, uh, of my bloated, shaved belly, and there might be a nipple, I'm not sure. I haven't edited yet, so. <laughs> anyway, just a word of warning. Uh, I'm doing okay. It, the first week was really, really, really hard. Well, I mean, I, I exaggerate. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> the first night was bad because I woke up really sore and I had gas pains. Um, and the following days, the drive home was a bit rough because it's an uh, over an hour drive and it was the morning after. Uh, but it was okay. Uh, I made a pretty quick recovery. Uh, they signed me out the same night that I had my surgery because I had such a, a, a quick recovery. It was like much quicker than the average. So that's a good thing. I'm above average. Score. <laughs> Since then, <clears throat> uh, I made really good recovery progress. It went really well until uh, I stretched, I slept kind of bad on an angle, and I stretched, and I kind of pulled some some stitches or something inside, and it was uh, uh, a lot of pain right after that, so 
uh, a little setback, I suppose. Um, I spent the entire first week on the couch. I didn't have the energy to do anything else. I wasn't feeling too bad, but I was really worn out, and the medication made me drowsy, and uh, the painkillers and, and the anti-inflammatory. Then I went back to work, and that's over a week ago now. I had uh, five days of work that week. It includes the weekend. Um, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it was rough getting back. And, uh, yeah, basically for the last couple of weeks, I have not had any excess energy. Uh, I'm doing much better now. I mean, I, I've had a steady progress going up, but uh, going to work, I, I spend all my energy, and I come home, and my back is sore, and it's not too bad. But the good thing is I'm eating more normally, which is such a relief. Uh, I haven't had any problems uh, apart from... You know, pulling the stitches, and, and I, I still have some stitches in there that's supposed to dissolve, but I guess they'll disappear in time. They're just kind of there, little plasticky things. Yeah, I finally got around to making this video. I really wanted to do this video before making any more gameplay videos because, uh, first of all, it explains my absence and... Uh, it also is important to me to convey this message before suddenly posting more videos. Um, I also want to say a big thank you to everyone for sticking around. I have not lost as many subs as I had feared. Uh, actually, I've gained subs for some odd reason. I might be the only person in history who disappears off the internet and and gains subs from it so huge thank you to everyone and i love you and uh i want to marry everyone no sorry i'm already married um but still seriously uh huge thank you to everyone who stuck around and um, it really motivates me it makes me wanna i've wanted this for so long to just get back into making videos and commentary and there's a lot more things I want to talk to you about, but I want to keep this short because I don't want to blabber on for hours, but I could. Uh, maybe I will later. But there's a lot of things coming up that are exciting and fun, and I just want to say that I'm finally feeling up to, to making videos again, and hopefully getting this video out, I'll get back on track. That's it, that's my story. I got my gallbladder removed. I didn't get to keep it, unfortunately. Because it was gross and they're crumbly, apparently, and uh, whatever, really. I mean, good riddance, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'm doing fine without it. Uh, no, no big problems. So I've been the general. Thank you all for watching. See you soon. Eddie's.